Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War, and it is starting right off in the beginning here. We have some mercenary Celtic light horse for Carthage coming out, and they are going to hunt down some Gallic hunters here. Don't think they're going to get away. I don't think they're going to get away. And they, were they successful? Oh, they were successful in taking out the ballistic crew, at least there, for our Vaki. But yeah, they're gone. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got some heavy horse coming on over here now. For our Verney, but I think, yeah, they're, they're going to get away. Celtic Light Horse are going to get away for sure. And the Heavy Horse are going to take some losses as well. Ooh, boy. All right. So, kind of exciting right in the beginning there. Good stuff. But let's take a look. We are on the settlement of Kalamadunum. Town center for that is way up over here. I don't know if I said it or not. So, I'm going to say welcome back to the land of sieges. We'll take a look at the armies first. We will start off looking at the defenders. We have a Pontus here being commanded by Shall Not Pass. He's got a bunch of hillmen, some eastern spearmen coming outside here at the gates. Very, very cool. Then we do have a Carthage being commanded by Rango, and we do see that mercenary light horse going back inside. He also had a Balearic Slinger there on the wall. And the final defender is Arvaki being commanded by Marsikal Zukov. I think I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, getting in onto the attackers first, we will look at Gete being commanded by Fatty Spins. And he has brought four noble swords, one of those being the general, four axe warriors, two spears, one heavy spear, one spear warrior, four heavy Dacian bowmen, and an onager. He's got a giant onager, or a heavy onager, and it's already taking some serious losses. That is a lot of money to spend on an artillery piece, I must be honest. Uh, the second attacking army on the battlefield we do have is Egypt being commanded by Tinker Belly. And he has brought seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, three Egyptian infantry, two Royal Thorax Swordsmen, very solid, one of those being his general, one Levi Thoreo Spear, one Galatian Swordsman, two Cretan Archers, two and Nubian Bowmen, and he does have a giant Ballista. Oh my god, we got the Light Horse coming back out again. Uh, then we do have an Arverni over here being commanded by Timothy Timma. And he has seven Chosen Swordsmen, six Levy Freemen. Honestly, that is strange. Usually you see some Celtic warriors. Uh, his general is an Osworn, four Gallic Hunters, one Heavy Horse, and a giant Ballista. But yeah, I think the whole front line here, pretty much for Pontus, has been taken out. Yeah, Hillman, I mean, they're not really going to be able to stand up very well against the Mercenary Axe Warriors. Oh, we got Chariots. Oh, wow, look at that. we got some side Chariots for Pontus already out here. 255 kills, I'm going to be sure to add that in at the beginning of the battle replay. But all right, guys, let's get ready to go here. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back in with the battle replay. Make sure to hit the like button, guys. All right, guys, so coming back in where I had left off pretty much, we have the Eastern Spearmen and the Hillmen now charging down away from the walls, kind of getting ready for that gate to open again. We already kind of know there they are. We was waiting for them. I was waiting for those chariots to come out here. Really interested to see what they're going to do. Last time we saw them, we were already almost like 200 kills or whatever, and here they come. Going to start dragging their way through these mercenary axe warriors. Yeah, Eastern Spearman not going to really hold up very well. Here comes that light horse again. Celtic light horse that we did see take out a decent amount of the rest of that Gallic Hunter unit, which I think are completely gone. But all right, Chariots getting stuck in here. Have not lost any of them yet. Already 55 kills, and oh boy. Now, we do have a Levy Thorio Spear coming over here. Hopefully, they're going to get some javelins off, but nope, 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 nope. Into the... Oh, God. Into the archers they go. Oh, my God. Carrying up 250? 54. 254 kills. They are still moving along here, but it looks like that is going to be the end of them. But still, 265 kills. Very nicely done right at the start there. Still going, though. Still not dead. 278. Oh, my God. Come on. Kill him. So many archers. So many archers, but nope. None of them. Oh, there you go. No, it missed. How did they miss? Oh, wow. 293 kills. This guy is going to get away. That's insane. That is really insane that he got away. I thought for sure that that noble sword general was going to get those shots, get those javelins in there and kill him, but he got away. Uh, let's see what over here. Gete has lost all of his artillery piece. That is rough. Definitely a very rough showing, but oh boy, we got more coming out over here. We have a second unit of scythe chariots coming out. We actually have a unit of the mercenary Celtic light horse that have caught up the heavy horse here for our Verney. 
see if the Chariots have a better chance over on this side. Still charging in. Now they have some chosen swords. Oh, it's a dry fire. Not good. Not good already. 25 kills. Now it's not a lot compared to the other unit, but they are still moving along. Still nine of them left in the unit. Keep going, boys. Down to eight. Over 100 kills now. And look at all these Gallic Hunters just mixed up here. Oh, boy, that is not good for our Verney. That is really not a good sign. Closing in on 200, but again, this unit is getting taken down. Bogged down. There are a lot of spears over here. The Heavy Horse have returned back into the combat. Looks like that is a second unit of chariots being taken out. But again, close to 200 kills. Close to 200 kills. Uh, let's get back over here. We do still have the Mercenary Light Horse here for Carthage making their way around. Now, we do have the Ram has finally made its way to the Gatehouse. Going to start doing some damage there. Gete bringing up the rest of his towers now. But guys, look at the damage. Look at the damage that's already done here. Now, a lot of that is Pontus frontline troops, but they definitely did take a lot of losses. Now, we actually have Balerics. Are they Balerics? Yes, we do. We have Balerics slingers on the walls firing out into the Arverni frontline. Levy Freeman again. Got to get on those towers. Got to start moving. Have to start moving. Lurk slinging, swinging down over the wall here. We actually have some of the Dacian Heavy Bowmen have finally gotten into position, but you can see they have definitely taken some losses. Look at that unit, down to 49 men. Oh, boy. But all right, guys, we got the Noble Swords for Gete getting inside the settlement, but they are going to suffer. Yeah, they will. We got some mercenary Iberian swordsmen here, and they are going to light these Noble Swords up. Murder sticks aplenty. Oh, boy. Not actually getting the kills I thought they were going to. Maybe they need to move up a little bit closer. This unit's getting some kills, though. Yeah, they are. Down to 131 for this Noble Sword unit. Charging in, going to get into these Galaks. That should be a the beginning of a win for these Noble Swords, but they definitely took some losses. And now, oh God, here comes the heavy artillery fire. 60, now 70 kills for the Egyptian artillery piece. Very, very nicely done to this point. Uh, Arverni, oh, he's got a mobile ballista. I thought it was a giant ballista. I do apologize for the uh, beginning army compositions there. I thought it was another giant ballista. But Egypt over here, he does have two thorax. Keeping an eye on it over there. He's bringing his general forward. Royal thorax swords are making their way forward. You have some of the Nubian bowmen here firing into that Pontus and Carthage front line. Another unit of noble swords charging on in here. Going to get mixed up with some mercenary Celtic warriors, another unit of the Gallic warriors. But here we go, mercenary Axe warriors now getting into the settlement off of those towers. That is going to be a brutal addition to this fight. You see all those projectiles now pouring down onto these defending units. Haven't seen any ranged units for the defenders. Oh, there they are, there they are, there they are, okay. We've got some eastern archers there. Ooh, big shots. Big shots getting into the Libyan infantry. It looks like they missed for the most part on that unit. He's only lost 10 men to this point. Back over here, some more Iberian swordsmen have made their way forward. Iberian swords, Gallic warriors, Iberian swordsmen, Gallic warriors. So pretty solid defense so far. Ooh, look at this. Skatari. Is this all Skatari? Oh, it's two Skatari, two painted warriors. I've been seeing painted warriors a little bit more and more every time I see... Uh, uh, I almost said Skatari. Every, every time I see Arvaki on the battlefield, see them a little bit more and more and more. Painted Warriors now are going to get into these Levy Freeman. Levy Freeman probably not going to stand very much of a chance, but look at those boys right there. Painted Warriors for sure. You can see the paint on their faces. Some more Levy Freeman now coming down off the wall, but look at this charge. Another unit of Painted Warriors getting in there. And it looks like the uh, yeah, the Arverni front line is kind of getting held back here. But we have a lot of Archer fire now coming in. Mercenary Cretan Archers firing it. Oh, boy, another chariot. Oh, my God. There's another side chariot here for Pontus. Has not gotten involved in the fight just yet. I'm guessing he came all the way around. But another unit of Light Horse here as well. Here comes that Carthage Light Horse. But, okay, here we go. He's going to get into these spears. Running right through the spears, now getting into the Noble Sword General who's facing the wrong way. Oh no. Already over 100 kills. Again, he's lost one chariot. Not that bad. 158. Oh, this one's skyrocketing. 
got into the rest of the Daisy and Heavy Bowman. Actually, he's only gotten into two. We still have two other units over there. Looks like the Levy Thoreos are trying to throw their javelins. Maybe the Royal Thorax Swordsman joining as well. 200 kills here again for the Chariots. Charge. Oh, my God. Well, that Chariot unit is gone. Yep, that was the final unit of the uh, of this chariot, but I don't know, is there gonna be another one? Speaking of another one, oh my god, the mercenary light horse for Carthage getting into the Cretans. Oh, that is huge. Bouncing around, rebounding, getting back over into the Gete Archers again, but I don't think they're gonna do as well. This player did not end up using the Frenzy Charge. Doesn't look like they were the Frenzy Charge was used. Interesting. Definitely would have added more charge bonus to them. 27 charge bonus. Probably would have been a nice addition there. Probably would have been a nice addition there. But all right, back over here, we have the Pontic Swordsman General holding with some Celtic Warriors, another unit of Pontic Swordsman there, holding back these Gete units on the front wall here of the settlement. Guys, this, is, this battle started off with just explosions. Cavalry, chariots, archers, everything. Brutality. We had some good murder stick kills so far. Hopefully, we're gonna see some better ones. But so far, Pontus is doing a pretty solid job. I'm gonna say that the three chariots that we've seen so far netted about six, maybe 700 kills. So, side chariots, they're a little expensive for getting only that many kills, but he did do a lot of damage to the range units. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the same, that's the uh, same, uh, Mercenary Kelp Light Horse. They got away. I still cannot believe that they got away. But all right, back over here. Looks like the defenders are still having to try and defend this gate. Unit of Heavy Spears there for Gete have come through. Looks like they've lost some men there from the Burning Oil. Carthage is stoically holding this gatehouse very, very effectively. Is this, light, uh, is this Libyan infantry? Yes, it is. Libyan infantry there. But the Pontic Swordsman General up in melee still here. Might want to get some more infantry up here. We have another Contic Swordsman right there. Could easily try and maybe snake them around this way. Get that general out of there because you do see a lot of arrows coming in his direction. A lot of arrows, but we're starting to see some defending arrows now coming. Here we go. Here we go. We've got some Eastern Archers firing 152 and 80 kills for them. Freed up unit of mercenary Celtic Warriors now making their way away from the gatehouse. Again, Libyan infantry doing a great job, but oh boy. R. Verney now letting loose with his artillery. 59 kills, and he is firing cross field here. Let's see where those shots are coming from. There they are. Oh, yep, hitting a little bit of that general unit. He's down to 98. Definitely wants to get away. Definitely needs to get away from that front line for sure. Egypt has a decent amount of infantry inside so far. He's got the Egyptian infantry. Have not really been taken out very much. They still got pretty much, yeah, pretty sizable units. Pretty sizable units. It has his Thorax Swordsman here. Arverni dumping a couple of units of his Chosen Swordsman in here to help out the Egyptian front push against the Painted Warriors. Skatari there as well. Skatari 111, 100 for the Painteds. And is that another Painted Warrior right there? Yes, it is. With only 80 kills, we have another Iberian Swordsman now making their way forward. Iberian Swordsman with 15 kills. Might have wanted to keep them out of the fight for a little while longer so they could throw their javelins. Uh, back over here, Skatari, yeah, just holding down the fort. Oh, these are gorillas. Oh, wait, wait so hold on. It's three different units. Gorilla warriors, Skatari, and a unit of Iberian swordsmen holding this area down. There's the ballista, one lone ballista crewman. He did survive. But right, here comes Arverni bringing up the rest of his force. A lot of the Levy Freemen have been obviously taken out. We have a unit of chosen swordsmen there in shield wall trying to climb a tower. I don't really know how well that's going to work. I don't think it's going to work very well. All right, back over here. We actually have a Levy Freeman that made their way all the way over here to try and help with this push. But, oh, God, the Gete Bowmen are getting dropped like flies. Yes, they are. These Eastern Archers over here, 152. This unit here with 154. Solid defense so far. Eastern Archers still getting some more shots. That unit only has 18. With the unit of Egyptian infantry taken out. Here comes another Thorax Swords, 151 men, 91 kills so far. They are fighting a couple of units. Oh, we have an Eastern Archer unit up in melee there, probably contributing to some more of those Thorax Swordsmen killed. Second unit of the Celtic Warriors, I'm sorry, Pontic Swordsman has now joined the battle over here as well. Wow, this is brutal. This is brutal.
Ponta still holding back these Thorax Swordsmen. More Archer fire now coming in from the defenders. We have some Eastern Archers here again, blasting away 29. This unit here with zero kills so far, so they definitely still have a lot of ammunition left. Uh, let's see how this side is holding very well, actually. Another unit is Katari getting in there. Fresh unit is Katari coming up. We have the Noble Fighter General already up here. 103 kills for him, taking on some of the Chosen Swordsmen. So, guys, this so far has been a pretty hellacious attack. The defenders have done a solid job to this point. Uh, we have a unit of the Balearic Slingers here for Carthage. Now climbing over here, but they might want to run away. Yeah, they definitely want to run away. And we have no infantry on this side. This could be the beginning of a push for Arverni. If he can start burning into these Balearics, that could definitely be a very good thing. We have one lone unit of Iberian Swordsmen there, but no more defending units back over this here, at least for, from what we can see. Uh, we do see the Carthaginian General is a regular general's bodyguard. Probably, I'm more of a fan of the Noble Cavalry General, but, I mean, people need to spend save money sometimes in order to uh, spend money, if you will, and make money. But all right, here we go. Thorax Swordsman there in the center. Chosen Swordsman, 148 kills for them. 144 for the Thorax. So far, Scutari over here. This Scutari front line, Painted Warriors, and the Noble Fighter General. Oh, no, he's getting shot in the back. Definitely wants to get that general out of there. Definitely wants to get that shot. Oh, yeah, these Cretan Archers starting to unload. Starting to unload. But again, there's the Eastern and Cretan Archers again from Carthage. Firing away back over here. 80 kills so far for him. Getting some good shots in onto this Cretan Archer unit there. Dropping men. Wow. They're going to have to retreat. Yes, they will. Uh, Gallic Hunters over here. Let's see what they still have for range. They have one unit of Gallic Hunters still. There's one up in May. Actually, no, there's one inside the settlement. They have 157 kills. Looks like they may be out of ammunition. And here we go again. The Eastern Archers of Pontus unloading, guys. 80 kills here now. Uh, oh, wait. What happened to the... Oh, no. Oh, there, 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 there they are. There they are. There they are. I was like, where did that Chosen Swordsman go? His banner is not traveling with the unit, though. Uh, we have some more Libyan infantry over here. Four Carthage might want to come over here and try and save these uh, Balearic Slingers, though they do have 166 kills, so they may be very close to out of ammunition. But still, I mean, it's a Balearic Slinger. You definitely want to try and save them. Definitely want to try and save them. We do still have another unit of Libyan infantry right there. And, oh, look at that. Nope, never mind. He's gone. That was the Celtic Light Horse for Carthage. Got in there again. How many kills did he end with? 80 kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. But here we go. The Noble Sword General for Gete. Probably one of the stronger units in this game. Maybe a side of the Osworn and the uh, Royal Thorax Swordsman. But here he comes. And he has seen his faction, he has seen his army get decimated here. So he's going to probably try and get as many kills as possible. But oh no, Arvarki. Arvarki? Arv <laughs> Arvaki's front line started to break down. Skatari here, 133 kills, not too bad. But we have another unit of Libyan infantry that have made their way over here. We have the Oswan general up in the uh, in the settlement here. Lost a man so far, but oh boy, now we got Archer Fire coming in. Again, Archer's firing away. Did they save over here? They did for the most part. Yeah, there's that uh, there's that Chosen Swordsman unit. Looks like he got some good kills, though. Looks like he got some really good kills. I only... One, two... I don't know if the other Balearic Slinger ran away. The Noble Fighter General did get out of there. 141 kills down to 30. Did he lose his general? Does not say his general has died. Balance of power is still in favor of the defenders here, guys. And look at these Balearics for Arvaki. Starting to fire across the building tops. Getting into the back of this Osworn General Thorax Swordsman as well. Another unit of Thorax making their way forward. Going to get in there. 139 men strong. So pretty solid unit there. Back over on the other side here, we do have the Pontic Swordsman General. Second unit of Pontic Swordsman. Still holding back some more of uh, the Thorax Swordsman. Where are the Royals? There's the General is there. Where is the other Royal Thorax Swordsman? Is he in there already? I don't see him. Yeah, there he is. Taking on a unit of Libyan Infantry. Uh, looks like that, yeah, that Chosen Swordsman's going to be taken out. So that's going to free up both of these units. The Libyan Infantry and the Iberian Swordsman will be able to make their way over here towards the front line. Pretty sizable uh, um, retreat, though. Pretty sizable retreat, but it's just ranged. They're just bringing ranged away from the front line. Not a bad idea at all. But this front has now broken. The Osborne General and the Noble Sword General starting to flex their muscles. And here they come. 
Carthage General coming over here. Looks like they're still just trying to dogpile on this gatehouse to save it. This Pontic Swordsman General is not going to be enough to hold, though. Definitely not going to be enough. They're going to need this Pontic Swordsman to come back over here and help out. Oh, actually, hold on a second. I just saw this Libyan Infantry unit right there. Didn't see where they came from. But the Pontic Swordsman General is going to charge straight away in here, trying to get into some of these heavy spears. Looks like the defenders are still holding over on this side. Libyan Infantry taking on a Chosen Swordsman. 155 men left in that unit. But guys, this is a crazy battle. I don't know if you guys are aware of that or not, but this has been pretty insane. The defenders have done a lot of work here in holding these attackers pretty much at the walls. Royal Thorax Swords, 163 kills, 106 men left. The Libyan Infantry here, 100 and 180 now, down to 88 men. But, oh boy, what is this? These guys still have ammo. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. Ooh, that could be trouble. If they swing further around over here and start firing into these defensive lines, that could definitely be a problem. Speaking of a problem, we actually... Wait, where did the... Where, oh, there he is. He pulled back. Okay. We have the Oswan General over here. He is dropping very, very quickly. Looks like he's getting shot. Yeah, Pontic Swordsman? No. Balearic Slingers? Oh, it's the Cretan Archers. Cretan Archers firing in onto this noble... Onto this um, Oswan General, and he is getting dropped very quickly now down to 100 men does have 135 kills pontic swordsman still trying to do the best that they can but the pontic swordsman general is dead but look at that move pontic swordsman general coming around here and now going to get into the back of the osworn not that it really matters the general himself is dead so just use the rest of the bodyguard unit for what you can and getting into the back of that osworn is huge absolutely gigantic Another unit of Thorax Swordsman here for Egypt starting to make their way over here. Now, they do have the advantage of the uh, um, the Arrow Tower right there. Yes, Commander. So that could definitely help out. But even the Noble Sword General here for Gete is looking really beaten up. Really beaten up. Only 39 kills down to 63 men. Another unit of Pontic Swordsmen have now joined the fight here. Uh, Royal Thorax Swordsman now switching out. Yeah, the Royal Thorax Swordsman General over here now taking on Libyan Infantry. Two units of Libyan Infantry. 94 men and 43 will be defending line against this full unit of Royal Thorax Swordsmen. Do still have some Guerrilla Warriors right there. Another pretty much full. Oh, it is a full unit. Full unit of Sam Knights guys here. Oh, boy. He could definitely cause some trouble. But it does look like it's pretty much Egypt here now. I mean, we still have the Osworn General unit alive. I don't know if the General's still alive. Looks like he is. Looks like the General's still alive at current. Another unit of Thorax Swordsmen have come over here. Mercenary Sam Knights holding the line here. I don't think those, th yeah, I don't think those Thorax are really going to be able to stand up very well against the Sam Knights. Uh, still holding here in the gatehouse. Libyan Infantry holding back this Chosen Swordsman. Might not be a bad idea, honestly, for some of these Cretans to try and volley some shots down here to try start dropping down this... Uh, Chosen Swordsman unit might not be a bad idea, but guys, balance of power still in favor of the uh, of the defenders. I mean, uh, Libyan infantry still holding back against the Royal Thorax Swordsman General, closing in on 100 kills. Center here is still holding pretty well. Now the same night warrior right there, but look at this, very nicely done, very very nicely done there by Carthage. 121 kills so far. He's got his other two units of Cretans here as well. 64 and 77. But oh boy. Big volley there. Cretan archers from Egypt starting to unload. Nubian Bowman, do you still have ammo? No. Yes, they do. They do still have ammo. 84 kills there. We have another unit of Nubian Bowman. Looks like they're making their way inside the settlement. And there we go. So the attackers finally getting a little bit of payback to the ranged units of the defenders. Chasing a wave, Eastern Archer unit right there. Cretan still firing away, though. Not really sure exactly where they are shooting, but we actually... Ooh, the Noble Sword General came over here to help the uh, Royal Sword, the Thorax Swordsman General against these Samnites. Still holding very well, though. They've only lost nine men to this point. General's having a very difficult time trying to break through on this side. Very, very difficult time. Fight. Brutal, brutal, brutal fight. Look at all these Thorax here in the center, though. Really damaged units. 
It's 27, 44, 24, and 43. Let's take a look at their kills, though. 131, 224. Wow, 329 and a 216. So these boys definitely paid for themselves. Definitely, definitely paid for themselves. Uh, back over here, Sam Knights. Yeah, just doing a great job. Holding these Thorax back. Solid job. The defenders actually held the gate. Where did that Chosen Swordsman go? Oh, they got destroyed. The defenders held the gate. The general, I guess, came over here and helped out. He does have 57 kills for himself. Didn't lose anybody. That's really big. Uh, the center here, though, this is beginning to be a problem. Looks Maybe that's why the Carthage general is rushing his way back over here. Thorax Swordsman were able to defeat that unit of Sam Knights. But the general for Carthage now charging over here. I don't know. Balance of power is still in favor of the defenders, though. Looks like we have the Balerics now going to join melee. Uh, I don't know. Do they still have... I'm not, I don't see their swords in their hands. Maybe that unit's out of ammo? But this unit still... Yeah, they don't have their swords out. They still they still could use their... Uh, use their stones. Toss some stones in there. Sam Knights, though, unfortunately starting to fall down here now, though. Center is finally broken through here for the attackers. Going to be able to get into these archers. I don't really know how much the defenders still have left. Still holding over here, though. We have the Eastern Archers now joining the fight. Sam Knights have done a fantastic job over here. Definitely have taken a lot of shots, though. Uh, we have some Cretan Archers climbing up onto the towers. Looks like another unit of the Nubian Bowmen. Going to start making their way in along with the Levi Thoreo Spears. Only 22 kills. Maybe they still have some javelins left. But look at that charge. The Carthage bodyguard is doing what he can to try and help out over here. Uh, some Thorax now getting in here, but they are wavering. <coughs> Excuse me there, guys. They are wavering as the Cretan Archers, Balearic Slingers of Carthage, firing away. We have another Balearic Slinger right there for Arvaki, and they are getting ready to start throwing again. Wow. Oh, they were all breaking. They are all breaking. The balance of power has definitely dropped in favor of the defenders now. But we still have six minutes left, guys. This Royal Thorax Swordsman General over here, 85 men, 219 kills, still taking on this Sam That Warrior unit. Still taking on this Sam That Warrior unit. What a battle. Look at all the dead. Look at the bodies everywhere strewn across this whole front part of the settlement. Up on the walls, up on the berms, up on the actual platform of the wall itself. Wow. But all right, here we go. Levi Thoreos now going to make their way forward. Still have a pretty sizable, yeah, it's about 75 men in that Sam Knight Warrior unit there. Thorax Swordsman here with 80. But again, the range units putting in the work, putting in the damage, firing into the flank of that Thorax Swordsman chopping them down. Levy the Reos are going to try and do whatever they can to get into these Balearics. Here comes that general again. Carthage general is on a warpath. <coughs> kind of got hung up. I'm not sure. Oh, he got hung up right there. There's a Levy the Reos. But they are going to get through. Going to get into that Ballista crew again. 100 kills now. He's got more kills for free right there. Nubian Bowman Yep, those Nubian Bowmen are out of ammunition. Oh, but he's going to peel around. He's going to come around over here and get a charge in onto the back of the Royal Thorax. That might be his final dash, but it could definitely pay off pretty well. Oh, no, the Royal Thorax Swordsman sees it. He's turning around to meet that charge, but oh, my God, he did not meet that charge very well. General's Bodyguard now down to eight. Carthage definitely needs to press up. Actually, wait, 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 never mind. They don't need to press up just yet. They got the Balearic Slingers right there. Going to fire into the back of that Royal Thorax Swordsman. General's still alive, holding on. Oh, no, he's wavering. There he goes. Balance of power slipping a little bit in favor of the attackers. Guys, this is a back-and-forth battle. Really, really crazy. Uh, the General is now dead for Carthage. Did he die? Yes, he did. The Carthaginian General has died, unless it was the Egyptian General, but he is losing slightly now. Still taking on these Sam Knights. Balearic Slingers have joined the fight. But we have a unit right there. Levi Thoreos. Oh, my God. Brutal javelins into those Sam Knights. They are going to try and charge over here. More murder sticks for them. Oh, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. But I don't know. Is this Thorax Swordsman General going to be able to hold off 
still taking on 52 Sam Knights. And we have another unit of Balearic Slingers coming around the back. And they have their daggers out, so this is definitely an opportunity for them to just charge in there. Charge in, boys. Don't stand there. You don't have any slings left, do you? Oh, no, they do. Oh, bye-bye, Royal Thorax. Oh, yeah, you're dead. 291 kills, though. Wow. But the balance of power is still in favor of the defenders, but just barely. But just barely. But there goes the Royal Thorax Swordsman General. We have one final unit of Levy Thoreos. Could you imagine the final unit on the battlefield is a Levy unit for the attackers? That's crazy. He's currently taking on some Cretan archers, starting to break them. Starting to break them. Here comes that Sam Knight making his way around. 31 men left, but he is wavering. Not very good. Balearic Slingers have wondered that they still have stones left to throw. The Archer Tower is in range. Yeah, the Archer Tower is definitely in range, so this could definitely help out this defense. But look at the balance of power again. Shifted in favor again of the attackers. <clears throat> My God. Oh, they still had javelins. Sam Knight's getting in there. He's going to try and do whatever they can do. Do these guys still, if they still have stones? No, they don't. Here they come. Going to charge in there. We have the Levy Thoreo Spears now taking on Sam Knights and two units of, oh, sorry, Balearic and a Cretan. Wow, this is crazy. Two minutes left, guys. This is going to be a grind fest. The Levy Thoreo Spears are in their square formation. See the Balearics and Cretan Archers trying to stab their way in there. Sam Knight Warriors over on this side. wavering i heard troops running oh the balerics broke oh man but the oh sam i mean it's still close minute 16 guys sam knight's down to 28 men 27 men what about this cretan they're kind of fighting they definitely need to press the unit in there though guys this is close this is insanely close i am literally on the edge of my chair right now cretan archers starting to waver oh no You've got to be kidding me. Is this Levy Thoreos going to hold out for the win? Still fighting along. Sam Knight's now pressing in here. Levy Thoreos down to 44 men. We have 26 Sam Knights. Oh, the Cretans broke now too. That is not good. Getting into that square formation, raising their melee defense up just a little bit. Sam Knight's 25, 40, tw oh, 39 now. We have 23 seconds left. Generals are both dead for both of these forces here. 25 to 33. We have 10 seconds. Who starts wave? Oh, the Levy Thoreos are wavering. Sam Knights are brutal. Brutal. Hundred and six. Oh, wow. Wow, what a battle. That was crazy. From the chariots to the cavalry to the archers to the artillery to the generals to the brutal infantry. Wow, crazy battle. Oh my God. All right, let's take a look at these ending army, army compositions. And we're going to start off looking at Tinkerbelly playing as Egypt. Tinkerbelly sent the replay in huge huge battle wow i'm i'm literally sitting beside myself right now that was an amazing fight jesus he ended with 3000 kills 3031 kills jeez wow okay uh his royal thorax swordsman general walking away with 300 kills his ballista 173 archers 150 167 143 so three out of the four archers did pretty good we had an egyptian infantry 110 kills look at that uh, Galician Swordsman, unfortunately, not a lot. Levy Thoreo Spears, that was the final unit on the battlefield. 212 kills for them. Royal Thorax Swordsman, 225. Thorax Swordsman, 268, 216, 333, 131, and 235. Unfortunately, the other two were not able to crest that 100 kill spot. 
Then we have Fatty Spins here with Gete, 1996, almost 2,000 kills. My only uh, comment about his army is the Stacey and Heavy Anger. That's very expensive. Very expensive. You probably could have gotten some more units. But all right, Noble Sword General there, unfortunately, only 97 kills. His archers, 135, up oh, 69, giggity. Uh, getting into his Axe Warriors, 298, 152, 118. Great job there. Rest of his Noble Swords, 194, 170, 257. Spear Warriors, 110. And unfortunately, his two spears did not get a whole lot. And then we have Timothy Timma with our Averni, 1654, 197 with the General, 103 with the Celtic Ballista. Again, I do apologize. I thought it was a giant ballista. Uh, his Gallic Hunters, though, one unit, 165. The other three, unfortunately, do not do very well. Uh, his chosen swords with no 179, 223, 126, 160, 170. Levy Freeman got wrecked, but look at that 154 with a Levy Freeman. That's crazy. A Levy Thoreo Spears 212 and a Levy Freeman 154. Could you? Um, Jesus. All right. Getting into the defenders, we have Shall Not Pass playing as Pontus. Chariots, three chariots. 2,412 kills, 209 with his general. Uh, Celtic Light Horse didn't get very much. Top unit was at, th at 32. But his chariots, I mean, the side chariots, they're very expensive, but he did pretty good with them, taking out the units that needed to get taken out. Uh, we had a 209, 264, and a 293. Archers, Eastern Archers, 162, 166, 179. Great job there. Uh, his Hillman and Eastern Spearman did not do very well. Celtic Warriors, 224, 111, and his other two, two Pontic Swordsmen here, 121 and 217. Then we have Rango here with Carthage, 26, 25, 2,625 kills. Great job. Uh, 118 with the General, and that General did a lot of work inside the settlement. Really held some front lines pretty well by himself. Uh, Balearic Slingers, 246, getting into his Cretans, 238, 117, 212. His Libyan Infantry, 111, 187, 413 on a Libyan Infantry. Whoo, boy. Guys, come on. This is brutal. Uh, his Gallic Warriors, unfortunately, not doing very well. Top unit there was an 80. Iberian Swords in 106, 97. Not too bad with the two of them. And his Sam Knights, guys. His Sam Knights were like shining stars in this battle. 190, 152, 124. Not a ton of kills, but they held lines. They held some front lines. And then we have Marsikal Zukov here with Aravaki, 1995. So basically 2,000 kills. 153 with his general, his Balearics, 178, 198, and 153. Uh, his Iberian Swordsman, 203 with an Iberian Swordsman. Great job there. Painted Warriors, 108. Yeah, just the 108. The other two, kind of close to 100. Uh, then we have the Gorillas, 163, 111. Great job there. Iberian Swords, Spearman didn't get a whole lot. Skatari, 103, 134, and 125. So three out of the four of them did great. But guys, come on. This was an amazing battle. Amazing battle. Great job by everybody. I mean, some got over 2,000 kills, some didn't get over 2,000 kills, but everybody played their part in this battle. Came down to, I still can't believe it, came down to Levi Thoreos, a Samnite, a Cretan, and a Balearic. That's insane. Crazy kills. All right, guys, that's going to be it. If you don't hit the like button on this video, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. This was an amazing battle. Amazing battle. I hope my coverage did the justice. Really do. Uh, but yeah, make sure to hit the like button, drop comments, share the content around, subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, that's going to be the end for me. I'm just going to keep rambling on about how awesome that replay was. That was crazy. But all right, that's going to be the end. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.